I'm about to forget everything. Okay, and here we go. The start of the Bro Drill Cup. It's going to be none other than Edo Setora against Aaron. So Edo Setora has been a recurring participant to the Bro Drill Cup. And he has, uh, been, he has actually been uh, performing quite well. Aaron is actually probably this is his first participant. I have played him personally on uh, the Celestial Floor quite a number of times. And I can tell you that he is a very, very, very strong Happy Chaos player, you know my love. I have no love lost for Happy Chaos, but this Happy Chaos in particular is extremely freaking hard. So yeah, let's uh, let's enjoy the show. And just as I say this, I have no issues in the bracket right now. This is absolutely fantastic. I will be able to focus on... Oh, and that big, big, big bait of the burst. And here we go with Edo Setora. Deciding not to go for a uh, wall break immediately, but instead reset the pressure and keep Happy Chaos in the corner. This is a basic uh, uh, strategy that you absolutely need to have against Happy Chaos. Is you need to sometimes uh, keep them in the corner rather than getting the uh, positive bonus. The reason being that once the neutral is reset, it's all good for Happy Chaos and all bad for you as a uh, player. Anyways, that being said, here we go with Aron using the Deus Ex Air 6 to break the wall. Very nice entire right there from Aron. And here we go. Edo Setora has to keep, yeah, uh, definitely kept at bay. And second round goes to Happy Chaos. Let's see if Edo Setora can manage to. Oh, very nice use of the Stun Dipper right there to not only kill the scapegoat but also hit Aron in. Uh, the process. Hello, Zoom Thorific. How are you doing? And here we go with the stun edge. No. Very nice and direct. Once again, you can see Edo Setora trying to go over the scapegoat to try and land on Happy Chaos, but Aaron not having any of this. Just doing a really good job of keeping him. Oh, very nice. It didn't kill a uh, knockdown. The uh, the overdrive right there from Edo Setora. That that's quite surprising. And very nice use of the. Uh, concentration right there to confirm his hit and continue the combo into the Osex into a death. First match goes to Aron. Very, very, very convincing first match. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Perfect. And here we go with the start of the second round. Uh, the second match, I'm sorry. Very nice uh, cross under right there from Aron. Managed to open his open it up and force him to use the burst. Here we go with Edo Setora, unfortunately gets entired by Aron, man. Aron doing a good job of uh, entiring Edo Setora and keeping him at bay. And here we go, you are definitely going straight in the corner. But first off, eats my air shakes. And here we go with the hard knockdown. And the schmixes, man, the triple overhead. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Very nice use of the scapegoat right there. Definitely uh, dissuaded uh, Edo Setora to press A buttons. And just like this, Aron takes it with a grab onto the second round though. Here we go with the curse. Edo Setora managed to find the opening with the stun dipper. Oh, here we go and back to the mini game. <laughs> Everybody loves this mini game. Okay, Edo Setora resorting to you. Okay, here we go. Finally finds the opening. And he actually has quite the uh, life lead right there. But as you know, yeah, very nice use of the stun dipper too catch Aron off guard and prevent him from fleeing away and just like this the quick dust into the Roman cancel is going to uh, seal the deal and uh, get the second round win to Edo Setora. Here we go on to the final round. These matches are extremely quick. It either goes all in Edo Setora's way or everything in Aron's way. And here we go. For now everything is actually going pretty nice for Aron. Very nice juggle. <gasps> Even managed to bait the burst. Man, that was big. And here we go Edo Setora. Unfortunately burstless. Maidenless. <laughs> and here we go with the Deus Ex Air 6. Kimi ga I think it's a Shujinko ni naru. Well, but anyway, here we go. Back to the zoning game from Aron and the snipe. The Sogeki no Shimade from Aron manages to take the second match as well. 2 to 0 in favor of Aron. Is Edo Setora going to be able to bring it back? Or is he uh, destined to go to the loser's side of the bracket? We shall see. Very nice calendar right there from Aron. Unfortunately, he gets the, yeah, he gets the cornered against his will. Due to a fortunate burst from Edo Setora, finally Aron forced to bait. Oh, to burst himself. And why doesn't it deal a, a, a knockdown this attack? This is so strange. 
Anyways, that being said, here we go with Alon, definitely in prime position to deal. Yeah, to open his opponent. Look at this. Look at all the resources. Yeah, this is this is probably death. What what do you want to do? <laughs> you are stuck. Yeah, yeah, it's it's over. Very nicely done, Alon. Manages to bring it back very convincingly. Good stuff. And on to set point from Aron. Let's see how this pans out. We shall see. Here we go. Curse has been made. The curse has been cast. And the scapegoat to Tang. The one hit DP right there from Edo Setora. And Aron with the knockdown. Not the knockdown, but the... Oh, and again with the scapegoat, man. Scapegoat has been definitely doing his job, man. And look at the juggles. Here we go. This should be it. Very convincing round from Aron, man. They didn't leave, leave anything on the table. They didn't give a single opportunity to Edo Setora to... Penguin. Bye-bye, Penguin. Oh, perfect. Okay, and on to the next battle. It's gonna be none other than Ichi versus Jiku. So let's see how this pans out. So both uh, rocking show the main protagonist of the game, obviously. Let me just check if we don't have any other. Okay, we're good. Oh, actually, everything is going pretty swell. And here we go with the first duo. It's gonna be. Ichi versus Zeke and a very big 4H says right there, counter hit from Zeke again, twice in a row and just like this, look at the life of Ichi, well he still has a lot, but uh, yeah, still in a unfavorable situation right there, he's been cornered, here we go with the empty jump into the grab by Zeke, manages to open Ichi, oh and here we go finally with the burst from Zeke, definitely willing to keep Ichi in the corner and the big bandit bringer counter hit right there from Ichi has Zeke cornered this time. Here we go with the Roman cancel for the extension into the wall break. No bandit bringer right here from either opponent and finally with Zeke finding the opponent. The uh, opening, I'm sorry, into the Roman cancel for the kill. Very nicely done. On to the second round. Very nice with punish right there from Ichi. Finds the opening with the 2D. Just like this, he has Zeke cornered. Ah, and Zeke manages to make his way out using uh, the uh, aerial revolver. Very nice 2K into 2D. Ah, unfortunately for it, uh, Ichi, his uh, Fafnir whiff. And just like the Zeke mounts the counter attack, brings Ichi in the corner, finds the opening with the quick dust into Roman cancel, into wall break. Very nice gun flame. Finds the opening, okay, and Ichi not, okay. Ichi holding on to his burst and not being baited. Very nicely, but unfortunately gets opened by the 2K 2D. And just like this, Zeke takes the first match extremely convincingly, very nicely done. Ichi is a very strong soul player, by the way. He really is, so uh, definitely do not. It wouldn't surprise me if he finds the way to Bring it back in the second match. Okay, here we go. Ichi finds the opening with the 2K 2D. Oh, the big 4 HS counter hit forces Ichi to actually pop the burst. Okay, again with the 2K 2D opening from Zeke. Okay, he wants the opening. Unfortunately, he messes a little bit his setup right here. But still, okay. Oh, and finds the opening with the fully charged does. This is going to do a lot of damage. And this is going to deal uh, la mort, the death. Very nicely done by Zeke. Takes the first round of the second match as well. Okay, both opponent with the 4HS. Oh lord, a little bit too far to get the 2 uh, HS connection right here. It's still okay. Oh lord, and here we go with the opening by Ichi, but forces Zeke to pop the burst and is safe in. Uh, in concept. Oh, here we go. very nice 2D right there from Zeke. Finds the knockdown and the setup safe jump. Find the opening with the 2S counter hit, uh, the 2S into the revolver, into death. And actually, Ichi holding on to his bur burst yet again. He did have an opportunity to use it right here and uh, still have one more chance to try to bring it back. But he unfortunately, probably he thought that Zeke was going to, he definitely thought that Zeke was going to bait it. Very nice 2D counter hit right there. Oh, here we go, the bandit revolver, Zeke in the corner. Ichi finally getting stuff rolling. Again with the, oh, the delayed revolver finds the opening from Zeke, probably catched his jumping frames. And here we go, the trade, and not even the trade, the clash in favor of Ichi. And this should not do. Oh, Lord, and the standing S counter in from Zeke, man, to bring it back. Okay, okay, good stuff from 
Uh, Ichi finds the kill with the 2k. Oh, well, you're good. 4 HS again, man. 4 HS from Ichi. Probably found a new angle here. Okay, here we go with Ichi. Finds the opening again with the 2D. Man catches the feet of Zeke. Bandit Revolver again goes for the MT low. And he's gonna get the wall break. No, he doesn't. Still, it's still okay. He has the corner position, which is... Oh, very good for him. And this is not gonna kill. Definitely close to, though. Okay, so what's up? Oh, and just a regular consecutive standing P for the win and here we go finally Ichi puts one on the board let's see how this pans out okay on to the third uh, match let's see if Jiku oh can bring it back he definitely had the lead in the first two uh, the first two matches oh very nice with punish right there using the 4s and the big HS counter hit, oh, and he successfully brings Zeke in the corner, and you have to, yeah, you have to hold that pressure after that uh, Fafnir, man. Ooh, and the big Vortex counter hit, doesn't even need the RC to extend his uh, combo, and just like this, Ichi takes the first round, good stuff from him. On to the second round. Itadaki indeed, and the big Volcanic Viper already. Zeke in the corner, definitely feeling the change of momentum right now. I don't know, he seems so very, very confident in the first uh, part of this uh, matchup, but just like this, look at this. Ichi on the verge of actually taking the second round as well, and just a run-up grab for the kill. With a perfect, <laughs> nevertheless. Quite the statement from Ichi, puts another one on the board, 2-2. Two to two. We are going on to the last match of this set, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, okay, nobody's home. On to the neutral, both. Yeah, both uh, Both players a little bit wary of... Oh, getting their moves with Punish and just like Zeke finds the opening. Himself is going to get the wall break. Kaboom with the big Fafnir and the big damage. Okay, Fafnir, you Fafnir, you. I'm going to Fafnir you. And here we go. Oh, unfortunately for Ichi, got the correct read that Zeke was going to backdash after the first Fafnir. But couldn't quite get a little bit too far to get the conversion off of it. And this is actually going to cost him the match. Still okay though. Uh, match set point actually. Let's see if uh, Zeke can uh, heal the deal or if it, Ichi can be capable of bringing it back. We'll see. Okay, use the bandit breaker to go over the gun flame. No entire red right there. And this is going to do a lot of damage. Very nice combo. Corner carry. Uh, and Ichi, yeah, getting red a little bit too much right now. He's in dire straight. He does have the burst. Oh my lord, just run up. <gasps> oh lord, that was so gutsy. Okay, okay. Oh no, he got cornered himself in the wake of DP, man. Ichi not afraid. He has he has to have this round. He absolutely needs to if he wants to stay in the winner's bracket of this tournament. Oh, and DHS. This time blocked by T by the skin of his teeth, man. Big Fafnir. Oh, and just run up, probably try to grab him. Finds the opening with the 2D counter hit. Oh, is he gonna kill? It's probably... No, it's not actually, is it? No, it's not. It's not. So close, but so far. So close, but so far. Oh, run up. I thought he was gonna grab him. I feel it. Then it revolves into big 6H. It's a big 6P counter hit. Oh, Lord, no. Not like this. And just like this, Zeke is gonna... Not to get hit. It's okay. Still, he drops the combo, but doesn't drop the kill. Good stuff. Natural is gonna be none other than Anji. The top tier of this game against... <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, Gilgamesh versus a Groovy Mango. Let's see how this pans out. I hope I get the... Wait. Oh, freak my life. This one right here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I got the... I got, I got the flag correct. Okay, and here we go. The counter hit by Groovy Mango finds the opening. And he already forced Gilgamesh to pop his burst. And very nice tick pressure right there from Groovy. He's gonna get the wall break. Okay, how is Gilgamesh going? Oh, Lord, and the big dash into the Nasante right there. Oh, couldn't quite get the uh, kill combo right there, but it's okay. He gets the counter it into the Sepultura for the kill. <laughs> and here we go, the Kawaii little Inu. Good stuff, you did your job. Okay, here we go, the ooh, forward dash. Couldn't quite get the follow up, Gilgamesh. Here we go with the Fujin. And he gets the opening with the overhead. Okay, here we go, the pressure man, that wrist bar was, oh, was getting somewhere, and again with the pressure, very nice, cancel the dance into the grab, and again with the overhead, is it gonna kill, 
Is it gonna be enough? Are you gonna survive? And just the quick dust for the perfect and the kill. Good stuff by Gilga. Let's see how this pans out. Is Groovy Mango gonna bring it back? We shall see very extending a counter hit right there. Did a huge amount of damage. Gilgamesh trying to read the grab uh, right there uh, from Mango and just bag dashes. But it's okay, he has the corner pressure now. You have to hold it. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, a little bit too far. Oh, no. No, oh, the big Fujin starter. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Say goodbye to your health. And the double parasol. He drops the combo, though. This is unfortunate. No entire right there from Gilgamesh. Oh, simple to to keep you down. And the big Fujin, man. Not afraid to cojones on that Gilga. Oh, Lord. A little bit too early on the dance. Could have get it. Oh. Okay, here we go again with the dance. Very nice uh, uh, reactions from uh, Groovy Mango to cancel his um, his countered move right there. Oh, and he fight the opening with the kick flip. A dash into the grab. Oh, and this time around, you try to grab me, I grab you. First down, the delayed grab, and unfortunately for Groovy gets hit by the freaking uh, second phase of the uh, Shitsu. This is unfortunately for him, but it's okay, it's okay. It was still pretty nice. Anyways, second match. Oh, and the big whiff punish right there by Guru Mango finds the opening with the uh, spiral arrow. Oh, again, here we go again with the simple turret to get the knockdown. And Gilgamesh not looking good right now. He's gonna get, yep, overdrive into hard knockdown, into positive, into death, actually. Let's <laughs> grab that. Into death right away. Good stuff from Gilga. Okay, and on to the next. Oh, gets scooped immediately at the start of the battle with the 2D counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage. Okay, finds the way to reverse the tendency using the uh, overhead. Uh, what's it called? Bill? Uh, just one second, please. Okay, okay we're good, we're good. Oh, shit. I have done this one though. I took a bit. Anyways, here we go with the big co for the kill by Gilgamesh. Very nicely done. Sorry, I had I was I was summoned to um I was summoned to uh, a chat actually. There we go. We're good. We're good. Okay, and here we go with the pressure corner pressure by Groovy. He's gonna get the hard knockdown yet again using the overdrive. This time around, it's not gonna kill by any means. Okay, Gilga definitely no, and he backdashes, gets caught by the 2S, uh, the two hit 2S of Groovy Mango, well, of Giovanna actually catches the backdash and seals the deal for Groovy. Okay, here we go with the jump in by Groovy, forces Gilga to immediately, immediately burst. Oh, very nice use of the low follow up, the Nagiha from Gilga. Oh, oh no, so far, but so close, he was so close to get the grab. Okay, here we go with the challenge by Gilga. You need to challenge sometimes in this game. Try to bait the burst, but Groovy holding on to his... Ooh! Oh, here we go with the back. That was very nicely done by Gilga. Ooh! And that counter tried to bait the burst yet again, but you can see Groovy out. Groovy is going to hold on to his burst for the second round. He, that was definitely the intended purpose. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, Lord. Oh, no! And you got hit. Oh, here we go. Gilgamesh all, almost, almost was safe. <laughs> okay, here we go. The tick pressure again with Gilga. Okay, tries to put a little bit of distance between him and his opponent. Unfortunately, gets scooped by the 2D counter hit. And Groovy is going to get the wall break. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, no jump in. Oh, and the Nasante for the entire end. He reads the back dash and grabs. And just like this, Groovy is going to get the... Kill. Okay, on to match point. How is this going to pan out? Is Ruby gonna be able to shield the deal? We shall see. Oh no, he reads the burst. Oh, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Oh no, and the badly timed. Uh, yep, that was a badly timed again, and no punish on the spiral arrow right there from Gilgamesh. Oh no, he's got the dance, but again with Ruby using the Roman Castle to not get hit by the follow up. Okay, he goes for the overhead this time around. This is one chance for Gilgamesh. Try to bring it back. Oh, no, he gets the corner. <laughs> he, they, they, they swap spots so many. Oh, he gets the kill. Maybe, yes, he's going to get the extent for the RC and the kill. Good stuff by Gilgamesh. Staying alive. Staying alive, Gilgamesh. Good stuff from him. He gets the 
Uh, this uh, this uh, map actually very nice though. Let's see how this point this stands out. Okay, he goes with the Nagiha, bounds the up opening. Gilgamesh looking pretty good, gets the extension, try to probably make the burst once again. Oh lord, and that <laughs> that cheeky little Katyo forgets to. He probably thinks that nobody saw him. And here we go with the overhead for the kill. Good stuff by Gilgamesh. Definitely trying to find his footing. And probably found it, I guess. Because he's definitely looking better right now. Here we go with the jump in. Ooh, Lord. The big counter hit right there from Groovy. And no entire right there on the kick flip, but it's still okay. Oh, Lord. The big Nasante counter hit. He's going to get a corner carry combo. No wall break right there. No wall splat, actually. Oh lord, ah, no confirm right there from Ruby Mango. Still okay, he gets the kickflip opening and the double dash yet again. For the, oh, he couldn't quite get the OTG to get the killing blow. And here we go, this is one chance to get again from Gilgamesh. Well, he still has one more round if he wants to stay alive. Oh, okay, here we go, the double overhead. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, no, he couldn't get the punish on the... Is Gilgamesh gonna pop it? Oh, oh no, he had it. He had it! Oh, he goes with the fully charged mask! But wait, wait, wait! Oh no! Oh no! Groovy Mango died with it. Pretty good. So Alon versus Hyoki. Hyoki first participation, if I'm correct. I don't have any recollections of him uh, coming before. I'm gonna go real quick to the toilet. I'll be right back, guys. Thank you very much for the follow, Lunaiken, and welcome to the Brown House. And here we go with the big, the big wall break right away by, ooh, by Shuki. Shuki looking pretty good, actually managed to get the first round, eh? Pretty nice. And here we go with the Lord, the mix up, the schmixes, the re jumps, the everything from Alon. And here we go with Shuki trying to get out of the corner, gets open with the quick dust counter hit, and he is going to eat an air shit for the kill by Alon. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Always wait too long to throw. Indeed you do. But it's okay. It'll, it'll happen. It'll come. Oh lord. And here we go. Alon trying to... Yeah, right away. Finds the opening with the Sogeki. Okay, he, he's got the curse. Immediate cancel into the overdrive. Is that going to be enough to wall break? No, a little bit too far from the wall indeed. Oh lord, and here we go with Alon actually reading the minigun right there. He's got the wall splat technique. Okay, trying to keep uh, Shoki in the corner, and Shoki really struggling to getting out. But then again, it's not really surprising. Ah, and this is not gonna do, but yeah, it's pretty much it. Oh lord. Yeah, and here we go on to, yeah. Yep, on to zoning. Okay, Aaron takes the first match. Let's see if Shoki will be able to bring it back. Yep, pistol is better than a minigun. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, but it definitely is. Okay, here we go with Alon again with the... Oh, Lord, and the knockdown. This is going to be pretty hard. Kyoki has to find the opening, finds it with the behemoth. Finally finds the opening. It's time to bring the heat. Oh, good stuff. Here we go, the overhead. And Alon staying strong. Oh, and the big opening with the behemoth, the frame traps right there, good stuff. Flashback of HC, <laughs> PTSD of course, man. Oh, and the 2D counter hit from Aaron finds the opening. Oh, and opens his opponent up yet again using the quick dust. Again with the quick dust, man. And Shoki, yeah, out of the corner, but not out of trouble at all. And again with the quick dust, man, this has been the bane of Shoki, man. But to be fair, uh, Lulu is pressure. Oh, of course, they're, both of these characters' pressure is horrendous, man. <laughs> it's it's like, yeah, it's, it's completely crazy. Okay, and here we go with... Oh, Lord! And here, yeah, basically, uh, like, Hyoki needs one opening, and usually it should be enough. 
Unless, yeah, unless Arun has like, oh lord, has resources. But yeah, Arun just needs to keep him away, but this is actually pretty hard. Google Lewis in gaming. HC versus Gold Lewis matchup in a nutshell. Exactly, here you go. It can go wrong very, very quick, very, uh, very suddenly for Alon. He just, he's, but as long as you can keep him out, then it's, yeah, it's okay. And I mean, it's not as if Gold Lewis has a lot of mobility. Super freaking, uh, super freaking, uh, slow. That being said, here we go. Shoki pops the burst. This is one less thing to worry about for Alon, unfortunately. Ooh, a little bit far for that dust. Still finds the opening though, because of course you can make your dust safe with happy chaos. And here we go with the anti-neutral. <laughs> here we go. Oh, okay. And my lord, Adon manages to uh, hit his opponent with the gold burst. Ah, yeah. And you have to hold the pressure with gun pain. Yeah, the anti-neutral. Yeah, <laughs> I got the anti-neutral. The anti-neutral mind. He gets the wall break. Not enough to kill, though. This is surprising. And here we go. You have to hold it. Yep. Yeah. GG's. Shake my hand. <laughs> Good stuff. And as you go on to the second battle. Oh, Lord. <laughs> is that the 6 HS? I think it is. Big counter hit. Gets the wall. Gets the corner carry immediately, man. Hello. <laughs> oh, and that backdash was divine. Not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, you can corner me. I'm gonna corner you. He's been swinging, man. Very nice jump in by Aron. He's gonna get the corner carry into air shakes. <laughs> you got the wall break. You get the, the hard knockdown. Oh, Gary, go the pop, the pop, the hop. I'm sorry. And this is not gonna kill. It's gonna give you wall break again. Air shakes. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, and on to zoning game. What are you gonna do, Shoki? Show me your oh no! Arxis nerfed Happy Chaos. <laughs> yeah. Wait, it's in the Yeah, exactly. No, but it's not even a nerf bro, because they give him a buff right after. <laughs> but it's okay, you 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 necessitate more concentration if you're far, but you have less necessity for concentration. Like you lose less concentration if you're close. And now basically what does uh freaking happy chaos have? He has a close infinite pressure <laughs> like i don't know i don't know why they were smoking when they when they made this character to be honest but it's life it's life it's in the game so you have to you have to abide by it hopefully until winter <laughs> until the winter uh what's it called the winter update i guess but then again i'm pretty sure they're not gonna nerf him so yeah anyways here we go with the anti-neutral very nice use of the mine right there finds it but honestly i'm i'm, I'm happy to see that <laughs> Gold Lewis actually manages to pummel a bit Happy Chaos, but that being said, here we go. Yeah, Happy Chaos with the wall splat pressure, man. You have to... Oh, okay. Thankfully for Shoki, Aaron did one too many hits, and thanks to the scapegoat, though, manages to tank one hit of the behemoth, and here we go with the grab. What are you gonna do? Ooh, very nice instant block right there from Shoki. And you have to hold it, yeah. Ah, lord. And this is death. Uh, smoking the smell of the game. Exactly. That is definitely bullshit crazy, man. <laughs> Good stuff from Aaron gets uh, the set point right now. Let's see how this pans out. Okay. Oh, no. You cannot jump on me, sir. And back to the zoning game. He'll keep trying to make his way to Aaron. But yeah, Aaron just keeping him at bay. Ain't much you can do. Oh, here we go again with the jump in, man. Melted plastic probably or something. Here we go using the... Oh, very, very, very nice. Oh, he tried to bait the burst. Tried to bait it again, actually, but I was just holding to it, man. Good stuff. Oh, Lord. And yeah, no, my turn is quicker than yours. And here we go back to concentration station. What is what is Yoki going to do? Yeah, yeah, this is probably going to be death. Air 6. No air 6 right there. And very nicely done by Alon takes uh, the like Koki Day, Nicolajiro, do they need to be introduced? I don't think so. But yeah, basically one of the best uh, Giovanna player against one of the best uh, Potemkin player. So yeah, th this is bound to be an explosive match. Uh, I don't recall who won last about between both of them, but we shall see sooner rather than later. And that being said, here we go with Koki Day and the take throw pressure in the corner. Nikojiro trying to land a slider head to keep Kohide on the ground with the hard knockdown. Very nice 2D right there. Finally deals a knockdown. No burst right there. Probably tried. Yeah, he tried to. He definitely tried to. 
He tried to bait it right there with the RC. And here we go again with the corner pressure. Oh, and the back Mega Fist for the oh for the opening. Oh lord! Very nice, good patient from Nikoji. Finally gets opened though by the quick Roman cancel. And here we go with the uh, wall break for the kill by Kohide. Takes the first round very consistently. So it's definitely still anyone's game. Oh lord! And here we go with the two hits from Yokoide to blow the armor from Nikoji out. And on with corner pressure yet again. Oh, the double Mega Fist right there from Nikoji finds the opening. You have to hold the Garuda. Try to go low this time around. But Yakui did not. Pressing any button finally resorts to backdash but gets hit by the Garuda. Oh lord. And Kohide trying to bait the burst and the double Mega Fist right there from Nikoji. Okay, he's gonna get open. Here we go with the wall break. Gekoide trying to push Nikoji ever so slightly in the corner. Very nice grab right there. Oh, and unfortunately for Nikoji, he gets Roman Cancel baited right there. Well, more or less, um, I'd say rather, um, burst baited. And Kohide manages to punish it accordingly. Okay, no anti right there from Kohide. Nikoji taking this opportunity to deal a big Garuda damage right there. Oh, very nice slider head. Gets the wall, the, the knockdown. And followed up immediately by an SPD. He's gonna get a lot of damage. Look at this and the corner carry, by the way. Oh lord! And the rotten Santa counter. That was pretty crazy. Good stuff from Koyin. He's gonna get the wall, but no wall break. It's still okay. Content to just get the uh, corner, but unfortunately, a mistime meaty makes it so that Nikoji grabs him out of it and deals the blow with the quick dust. Good stuff from Nikoji. Okay, on to the second round. Very nice for us. Oh, no entire right there, unfortunately. Oh, Lord, and the Golden Burst, man. Koyide is aware of it and just blocks right at the absolute last moment possible. Instant blocks it, by the way. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, Koyide trying to get that wall break and successfully does so. Gets a wall break. Oh, Lord. Okay, still. Oh, and the back Mega Fist gets blocked. Unfortunately, yeah. Nikoji still in the corner again. Gets it. <laughs> Why are you serious? Gets hit by a raw Asante counter hit, and just like this, man. Koide puts one on the board as well. On to the final round of this match. Let's see how this plans out. Okay, the double, the triple hits on Nikoji to uh, blow his armor out. Still, he has the corner pressure now. Unfortunately, forced. Forces his opponent to burst, which makes him lose his corner position. Okay, this time around, Koide has deep corner. How is he gonna get it? Very nice entire error right there from Nikoji. Nice reaction entire error. Oh, he tried to read the jump back from Kohida. Unfortunately, Kohida is staying very, 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 um... Oh, very patient. Finds the opening. Oh, Lauren, the big 2D counter yet again. He's gonna get the wall break and the kill. Yeah, since he had the overdrive. Good stuff from Kohide. Puts another one on the board, man. You can see Nikoji a little bit struggling right now. See how this spins out. Here you go with the. And here we go with this like, very nice again with Kohida using the Ron Asante to just at very opportune moment and manages to hit his opponent with it. Oh, very nice H. If our H uh, counter hit this, did a lot of damage. Again with the Asante the Samurai trades. <gasps> Oh lord, that was so close! Yeah, Nikoji using the invincibility frames of the uh, Heavenly Pot and then immediately cancelling it into the uh, Euroman Cancel to, uh, well, to basically make it so that he can punish any moves that have been thrown his way by Kohide. Unfortunately, Kohide managed to evade it by using his own Roman Cancel and back and to punish him accordingly. Oh lord, oh, I missed input right there. Still, Kohide managed to make it out and not get hit. Very nice, just guard. Yeah, and Nikoji definitely struggling in this matchup. Oh, the back Mega Fist for the save, and very nice back dash from Kohide to, uh, to go over the uh, the slider head. Oh, Lord, and Kohide aware of that tech right there. Oh, again drops it. This is unfortunate. He still uses the Roman Cancel to make it safe. Oh, Lord, and these whiff punishes have been... Killing Nikoji, man. 
Okay, no entire. Well, yeah, Koei did not committing to jumping on him. Okay, we're going with the slider head. Oh lord, yeah. Ah, uh, what what are you? What, what can you do, man? And here we go with the opening. Ah, and finally Koei did jumping in right at the moment when Nikoji was trying to jump in as well. Here we go with the OTG for the kill. Nikoji, do not. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh. Let me turn off the AC real quick. Okay, and on to the first uh, winner final, the uh, semi-final, sorry. Winner's semi-final match is going to be none other than Aron versus RX. Oh, it's going to be a pretty hard matchup for RX in my opinion, but then again, there aren't very like, easy matchups when your opponent is Happy Chaos. But that being said, here we go with RX really trying to pin Aron down, try to use the Arbiter right there to hit him out of his concentration, well, his... um. Concentrated hit. Very nice 2k to 2d. Almost got. Oh no, a little bit too far. No, no, almost got the Arbiter right again, but this is unfortunate. He gets schooled by. Yep, the juggles by Aaron and hit by the air six. Very nice. He's gonna do the hard knockdown. He's got the curse as well. Look at all the back dashes, man, from Aaron. And one Sogeki for the kill. Good stuff from Aaron. Secures the first round. Oh, nice whip punish from Rx. He's gonna get the jump in. Yeah, I don't sting. A very, very strong. Gets hit by the follow up of the. Oh, by the stain actually. Oh, almost got the hit, but it's still okay. Here we go. Yeah, hits his opponent with the 6 HS into confirm into the uh, Dinos Drovia, and he's gonna get the kill. Actually, very nice juggle right there from RX. Responds with a perfect, nothing less. Oh, the jump in a little bit too far, man. This is unfortunate. Okay, here we go. He's got the curse. This is gonna be hard to. Yeah, you can see Aaron definitely. Definitely. Ooh, too far to do anything. Look at the back dash. This man doesn't want to get hit. Okay, here we go. This is the time. <gasps> Very nice entire right there from Rx. Ah, yeah. Here we go. You have to. Uh, yeah, you have to hold it. Lord. Yeah. And Aaron. Yeah, just. Just pressing buttons. <laughs> Okay, here you go. RX finally finds the opening. Oh, very nice hit there right there. <gasps> I think it's gonna... Oh, he still hits and he gets rid of the burst. Good stuff by RX. Let's see how this goes. Oh, good stuff from RX and gets the kill with the Arbiter Roman Cancel into the juggle. Good stuff from RX. Brings it back. He was in a very dire situation and still managed to make it back, man. Good stuff. Let's see if Iron can enter in and do... Oh, diligence. A very nice to get to these. Gonna get the corner pressure. Oh, Lord. And very well-timed burst right there from Oryx. So unfortunately, gets jumped on by Aaron. Here we go with the corner pressure. And the instant. The instant dust, man. What are you gonna do? Air 6. That's what I'm gonna do. Here we go with the wall break. What's gonna be the Oki? Oh, okay, here we go. Resorts to wanting to zone. Just perfectly fine. Ah, yeah, you can see RX using a lot of tension bar to try to, yeah, not get chipped. But unfortunately, he's in chip territory and just like this. Yeah, this is this is death. This is death. This is death. Bye bye. Yeah, this is death. Yeah. With a perfect, very well done. And on to the second round. Aaron with the six HS catches the bag dash from RX, man. Oh lord, and here we go with Alon man going close by. Very nice grab. Here we go with the jump in and again with the grab by RX. Definitely wants to keep this corner position. Finds the oh lord, that was a sick combo by the way. Okay, he's gonna get the Oh no! No use of the overdrive right here. He could have killed, maybe not, I don't really know. Oh lord, and the air to air in favor of Alon. Alone again with the yeah. Here we go back to zoning game. You have to hold it. No entire, no entire. Yeah, you couldn't actually. Oh no! No, and the drop of the air shakes. Oh, okay, and he gets a kill with the arbiter. Very nicely done by RX again, man. RX staying alive. Always finding these uh, very slick moments and the good chase by RX. A little bit too angsty though. Gets hit by the curse, and you have to hold it now. Oh lord. We go with the air shakes again. It's gonna get the wall break. What is gonna be the Oki? Probably zoning. No, this time around he goes forward. Very nice. 
triple overhead, and this is not gonna kill. A little bit uh, just shy of. Oh no, the killing blow! And you don't want to leave RX alive. That's all I'm gonna say. This is all I'm going to say. Lord, and you can see RX. No! Oh, just got the kill! Oh, that block was godlike, but unfortunately, he gets hit by. Yep, the follow up of Happy Chaos. <laughs> Of course, Happy Chaos can app can make any of his moves safe as long as he has bullets, which is totally fair. <laughs> Anyways, here you go with the curse and again with Oryx in the corner gets slapped by Happy Chaos. Oh, and again with yeah, again with Happy Chaos keeping his opponent in the corner, and yeah, the juggle for the kill. Just like this, Aaron on. Uh not match point, what am I talking about? He's still just one game up, I think, I believe. There you go. Ar yeah, Arx definitely struggling to try to Yeah, to close the gap, man. Aaron definitely not letting him do so. Again with the oh very nice blocks from Arx, man. Definitely on point. Samurai goes low. Yeah, and I feel like Arx has been blocking for like the past five minutes or so. Okay, here we go. This is the time of Arx. He found the opening. All of this patient paid off. No entire. Oh, too far. It's still okay. He did get the. Oh, okay. He's got the stain and the very nice confirm of the Arbiter into the Roman Cancel for the juggle and the kill. Good stuff from RX, man. Okay, scapegoat out of the way. Very nice back dashes of RX, man. Trying to not get hit by the. Oh. The revolver, oh good stuff, nice challenge right there from RX, no, and the scapegoat, oh, okay, very nice, using the follow-up of the, uh, using the Arbiter to follow up the 6HS, okay, here we go, finally, Iron finding the opening, and, woo, that backdash though was crazy good, oh lord, and he baits the burst, and just like, almost got it, but the jump in for the kill, just like this, RX is up 2-1, two to one. good stuff. RX staying alive, man. Definitely showing how you're supposed to approach this matchup, even though it doesn't seem easy as 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 at all, man. Okay, here we go with Aaron finding the opening. Okay, got RX in the corner, gets grabbed, unfortunately for him. Okay, here we go with the oh Lord and the stain, but nope, you're going back in the corner. Good stuff from RX. Oh, here we go, uses the double hit of the full the the stain to oh Lord. Oh, oh that was so godlike. <laughs> That was crazy good. Good stuff from RX. Oh, okay, we go with Arlon using the Fort Orman cancel to try to see what his opponent was going to do. Ah, Lloyd gets hit with the, his back dash, gets hit. Fortunately for him. Oh, okay, so far, but so close, man. Just need one hit, man. One hit. Ah, no. Gets opened by the guns. There you go, the air shakes. Oh, Lord, no. Try to use the Arbiter, but yeah, Arlon definitely not letting any millimeter of. Of, of territory <laughs> to RX to try to bring back the momentum, man. Oh, Lord, and that entire... Okay, RX forced to pop the burst. Ah, oh, here we go, the just block. Oh, okay. Oh, couldn't punish him. And here we go with Aaron keeping the corner pressure. Again with the blocks, man, from RX. The blocks have been crazy. Oh, gets shimmy though, and this is going to do a lot of damage. It's not going to kill, but... Definitely giving the corner position. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, that just blocked, but not enough. And here we go. Oh, yeah, the pressure. Yeah, that was really overwhelming. Good stuff from Aaron. Puts one on the board as well. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, dual one. Very nice start of the round four. Aaron, he got the knockdown and the zoning space that he so requires. Very nice Arbiter right there from RX. Punish the uh, zoning attempt from Aaron. Okay, and here we go again with the pressure from Aaron. And Aaron, yeah, making his way ever so slightly. Uses the cross under from our uh, from uh, Cappy Gals to get the kill. Air 6. Good stuff from 
Eren, he is on set point on the verge of eliminate not eliminating, but setting Oryx and the losers, man. This is uh surprising. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, okay, here we go with Oryx forced to pop the burst, man. But was he? Oh lord, very nice. Two S right there again with the range of that hit, man. And Aaron using the shoot you ah and opens rx with the quick dust and here we go with the wall splat again with the quick dust just one more and unfortunately rx might get eliminated again with the quick dust this is gonna do oh or not actually oh very nice far s counter hit right there oh lord no and uses the forward roman cancel to punish the arbiter attempt and just like this my finals match of tonight's Rojo Cup Tournament is going to be none other than Gilgamesh versus Kohide. Let's see how this pans out. It's probably one of the first time I see them playing against each other, so looking forward to this match. Here we go, immediate dash round start by Kohide. Very nice. Oh, hit by Gilgamesh. Oh, almost got the full conversion, but forced Kohide to pop the burst, which is definitely a win in itself. We'll go with, yeah, Gilgamesh looking good. Here you go with the instant overhead. Well, it's not an instant overhead, but the overhead follow-up of the of the Fujin. He gets the wall break. Here we go, Kohide. Oh, ah, that challenge was crazy. Uh, Gilgamesh is standing there. Gets the trade in his favor. Gets the kill. Good stuff from Gilgamesh. Takes the first round. Oh, okay, here we go. Kohide catches the back dash right there. Gets the juggle. Very nice grab right there from Gilga. And the big 6P man from Kogi. That was big man. Good stuff from him. Okay, he's gonna get the Sepultura into the corner carry pressure. Oh, again with the back dash and front dash simultaneously for uh, the wall splat into the overdrive into the kill. Good stuff from Kogi. That puts one on the board as well. Oh no. Parasol, save me. Here we go, the follow-up of the Fujin. Oh, gets the big dance right there. Oh, he tried to go for a reset, but it's still okay. Oh, Lord. Ah, uh, yeah, he's in the corner. This is unfortunate. A little bit too far to hit his opponent with the parasol right now. Not the parasol, but the fans. Okay, Kohide gets the spinning bird. Not the, <laughs> the cannon drill, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Fortunately for him, the Fujin follow-up got hit, but... It's all thanks to Kato Fugetsu, he's capable of getting the moment, some momentum back at least. Oh, again with the... Oh no, and he gets scooped by the 2S, which is a 2 hitting hit to catch back dashes. Good stuff from Kohide, puts one on the board. Let's see how this pans out. Okie dokie, on to uh, the second match of this encounter. Immediate pop, uh, burst pop from Gilgamesh to try to keep Kohide out of his hair. And Kohide using a very nice array of both tick throws and throw mixes in order to really make his opponent guess. A very nice forward into 2S, man. Lord, these shimmies have been working a lot for Kohide. It takes a perfect, man. Okay, a nice overhead. Downer hit, unfortunately for him. Kohide had his burst to get out of. Uh, harm's way. Here we go with the juggles, man. Them juggles. That hurts a lot. Look at this. Half of your life already gone. And this is on you, man. Oh, Lord. Okay, and here we go with the extension station. Double parasol couldn't quite get the follow-up, man. This is unfortunate. Okay, he is going to get... Oh, some pressure. Oh, no. Oh, it's not going to kill. No, it's not. Yeah, perfect. Gonna go with the wall break. Oh no. And here we go with the kill from the cannon drill into the. I do believe it was Forest. Very nicely done by Kohide. Gets the second match. And on to the third match is Gilgamesh gonna be able to bring it back. Oh lord, and the confirms from Kohide have been crazy, man. Oh, and the big gold burst from Kohide again. Right away uses the Roman cancel to make his his uh, his countered streak safe. 
lord. Canandra for the wall break. On again with the 4 HS, man. Downer hit again. Good stuff from Kohide. And Gilgamesh on. Well, actually, uh, Kohide on set point right now. Gilgamesh needs to make something happen right now if he wants to see him lose in the winner side of the bracket. Very nice go. Oh, no, too late to get a hit on his opponent. Gets hit by Dina Sante and again with the lows from Kohide. has been working a lot for him. Oh, again, man. Oh, beach the burst. With the RC. Good stuff from Kohide. Takes together clean. Here we go on to the first losers uh, match of tonight. It's going to be none other than Edo Shitora versus Yoki. Let's see how this pans out. Both uh, opponents actually were eliminated, were sent to the losers bracket early on, but managed to make their way to the uh, higher part of the losers bracket. Uh, just one second, please. Okay, here we go with the big standing key for the kill by the Sito takes the first round. This one second, please. And here we go with the big, big, big behemoth trying to keep it with in the corner. And here we go with the big, big, big behemoth for the kill. Okie dokie, bridge and cookie. Very nice grab right there from Edo Setora. Oh! Lord, and the big jump in from Hyogi finally forces Edo Setora to pop the burst. Here we go with the mine. You have to hold it. Oh, Lord, a little bit too quick on the behemoth, but still almost got the juggle for the kill. But yeah, unfortunately drops it. Ooh, that was a big backdash, eh? Oh, Lord. Okay, and again, Shoki with the mine and gets the opening with the 4S for the first uh, match of this set. Let's see how this comes out. And here we go with the Kai special, which is running from the other side of the corner to grab your opponent. And thanks for the follow, Chakin, and welcome to the Brojo. Here we go again with the mine, trying to close the distance between him and Edo Setora, and immediately and manages to do so, by the way. Okay, here we go with oh Lord. Finds the opening, man. Good stuff from Shoki. Okay, and here we go with the very nice grab from Edo Setora, manages to get the side swap. And he's gonna get almost the kill. He could have gotten the kill if he used the overdrive, but probably, uh, yeah. Oh, wasn't aware, wasn't expecting the wall splat as early as it did. But very nice area right there from Endo uh actually manages to get the kill. Ooh, Lord, the big 6P in the middle of the block string. Oh, Lord, and almost Yoki with the juggle gets the far behemoth for, oh, the opening, but immediate wake up dp from Endo Setara to keep Yoki in the corner and again with the mine the the neutral killer <laughs> if i might say oh lord and here we go the far s and the stun dipper by Endo Setara finds the opening okay this is gonna be big damage into wall break again with the mine you have to hold it 
I don't care. We have to hold it. Oh lord, yeah. Oh my lord, look at this behemoth just freaking swinging away. Okay, and this is a fine. Oh no, what? Couldn't quite get the juggle. One more chance for Hyoki, man. You hate to be in this situation. You oh no, get to open. No! You could have got the oh my lord, wake up DP by Edo Sitora manages to steal it like a burglar. But you know what? We love burglars here, so it's okay. Perfect. Very, very nicely done by Edo Sitora. There we go with the stun dipper. Oh lord, and almost got the juggle right there from Edusetara. Yeah, Edusetara, you have to, you have to, you have to eat it. But it's still okay. Here we go, Edusetara finds the opening. He has a very nice juggle, by the way. And keeps the corner also, which is really godlike. Again with the mine, you have to get out. Yeah, get off of me. Here we go, Edusetara finds the opening again, man. Pushes Hyogi in the corner, and this should definitely do. Good stuff. Nice. Stuff from Edo Cetera. Oh, is it gonna be very <laughs> that big round start of the Behemoth DA to see it happen? And look, man, that conversion. Edo Cetera trying to get the hell out of here. And uh, rightfully so, if I might say. Very nice entire right there from Hyoki. Oh, and that jump in was godlike. Couldn't quite get a uh, juggle off of it. This is unfortunate. We still has a pretty nice pressure, a little bit too far to get the aerial Behemoth right there. Kind of whiff. Yeah, and enable Edo Citra to get the pressure, well, to get the momentum a bit back. Yeah, she has to hold it, and Yimi idiot. Stun, dis stun Dipper counter hit, uh, the Stun Dipper at the end of the block string. Oh lord, and using the, I don't know, the aerial uh, jumping D, I believe it is, to uh, to slow his fall and make the grab attempt from Hyoki with. Edo Sitra on the verge of taking I think he whiffed the OTG right there, unfortunately. He could have probably gotten the kill. And... Oh! He believed in it. He definitely thinks he can take this one. Oh, Lord! And the jump! Oh, my Lord! And the aerial behemoth to catch the bag dash from Edo Sitra. That was crazy good. Good stuff from Shoki. Very good. The direct lap. Very nice air to right there from Shoki. Gets the knockdown. Oh lord, and again with the 2D, the jumping D2. Oh, she even catches the... With the DDP, the Hail Mary DP attempt, and again with the jumping D to catch the back dash. That was pretty crazy, good stuff. From Shoki takes the second, the third round, the third match actually. And on to potentially the final uh, match of this set, we shall see. It all depends on the Dosetora. Okay, here we go with the jump in. A little bit too far to have it plus, actually. So, Edo Sitra gets his turn back. Very nice 2S right there. Catches the back dash. Big aerial grab right there from Shoki. Oh! Oh, lord, and reaction to 2P, man. Also uses the cross up to probably try not to get hit by DP. Oh, lord. Just swinging, man. Swinging. I be swinging. And here we go, it's Edo Sitora again. I think he dropped the uh, the juggle, but it still ended up being either a reset or something. Else. Oh, is this gonna hit? Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Damn, it goes far, 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 far. Good stuff from Hyoki on actual set point. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, Lord, and yeah, Edo Sitora trying to beat these, uh, these text attempts with these shimmies. Very nicely done. Gonna get the food red arc. Oh, and the juggle, and he's gonna get the, oh, double direct clarity right there for the ball break. Oh, and that anti-air good stuff from Edo Setora. Oh, the pressure's real. Air to air. Shoki trying to keep Edo Setora on the ground where he can mix him. Good stuff from Edo Setora. They'll find the opportune moment to throw a punch and challenge the pressure. Oh lord, the exchange you hate to see it happen. Hyoki taking his turn back. Finds the opening with the 2k 2d. Oh my lord, and again the 2d, the 2k, I'm sorry, the 2p, I'm sorry. To punish the uh, Fudra Dark attempt and... Nah, it's not gonna kill, but it's gonna be damn near near it. Yeah, it is. Okay, one more chance for it to set that up. Ah, and the <laughs> stationary jumping D for the kill. Good stuff, bye.
Nick Vegeta against Takari. Let's see how this pans out. Yeah, unfortunately, that was the underground drop. Yeah, that was real unfortunate. And here we go with the air to air right there immediate like air to air attempt by Nikos you takes hits Takari out of the, the, the air. We go with the snail. Unfortunately, probably no tools for uh Pot Potemkin to try to um to challenge it. Okay, here we go with Takani trying to really zone as slowly as possible, take his time. The problem in this matchup for Axel is that once uh pot is on your head. There's not much you can do, but yeah, the big problem for Pot is he is actually getting in. So let's see how this pans out. Very nice aerial RC to punish the uh, hammer fall right there from Nikozito. Again with the hammer fall closes the distance, and here we go. One, one command grab. Where's your life, bro? Okay, here we go with the very big patience right there from oh. Nikozito from Tatakarin actually not not popping the burst and just running straight oh a little bit too far oh with the snail <gasps> and he gets it by the far S I think yeah pretty sure it's far S I think it is good stuff from Nikozito there you go the hammerfall trying to time the uh, timing at which Takarin will end up hitting the ground to uh, punish his landing frames. Here we go, the slider had finally found the opening. No! Gets hit by the 2k 2d. <clears throat> Here go the slider head, yeah. Because you're trying to time his slider heads with the uh, landing timing of Takanin. But yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty hard matchup for Pot. Oh, and that grab, man. That reactionary grab by Takanin. He takes it with a perfect, actually. First match goes to Takarin. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the start of the second match. Very bad counter hit right there. It's gonna get the knockdown and the midi Garuda. You have to hold it. And here we go with the Kara. The Kara uh, PTB Potemkin. Put Potemkin Buster. Yeah. Here we go. And just like this, Nikoju takes it. Takes the first round of this second match. Okay, and back to the zoning game. Takarin finding the opening with the command grab. We go again with the slider head, really trying to deal this hard knockdown so he can close the gap between him and Takarin. Which is one of the reasons why Takarin takes to the air so much. Go with the air tier. Oh, try to get the command grab. Okay, and here we go with. Oh, Lord! Ah, uh, yeah, too far. And you can see Takani immediately reacting to the, uh, to the slider head, man. Man, not the slider head, the, uh, the hammer fall. Yeah, do you see? Right, again, he reacted to it. Knowing that, uh, Nico here was gonna try to use the recovery frames of the snail to close the gap between him and his opponent and this should do, yeah. Oh, no, actually. Okay, one chance, one chance. Okay, here we go. Oh, Lord, and the reset! And just like this, with the unfortunate drop from Takarin, Nikuji actually managed to take it, man. Good stuff. One match apiece. This is why you should always be careful. Never drop anything because one hit might determine whether you win or you are sent and eliminated out of the tournament. Good stuff. Good flick right there from Nikuji. Oh, there we go. Ah, you can see, yeah, Nikos, you're struggling again to get in, man. Here we go with the slider head. Oh, nice air to air. Oh, no. You hate to see it happen. Oh, Lord. Oh, my Lord. And she even caught the burst. That was crazy good from Nikos. He's going to get the... Okay, didn't go for the... Oh, but he still got the Garuda. Damn, Nikos Yidu bringing it back, man. One, in uh, this time taking the lead, by the way. One round lead from Nikos Yidu. Let's see if Takani can bring it back. Here goes the slider head, good stuff. Lord, oh, too far to get the third hit. But it's okay, he found the... Oh, Lord, and the Mega Fist. 
Okay, good snail. Oh, Lord, okay, and the air to air right there, and you could hear Akari actually wanted to use the Axel Bomber at the particular time. Oh, okay, a little bit too far, too. Slider head, very nice. Trying to really catch Takanin on his recovering frames. Ah, oh, Nikoji is super patient, man. It's crazy. Here we go. The Mega Fist and the run up grab from Takanin. Immediately tagged by Nikoji and the Hammerfall and the Quick Dust for the opening and this. Actually, the kill. Good stuff from Nikoji. Takes an apparent and undeniable uh, lead in this set. This is the potential final set of this round, of this set. The final match of this set. Sorry. We'll see. Yeah, Hammerfall, definitely the name of this game. Here we go, the slider head tried to catch recovery frames of Takarin. Slider head, yeah, and this time got it. This is exactly what he's trying to do. If you if you jump too much against a pot, you can you can bet your ass he's gonna use the uh, slider head to catch you on your recovery landing frames, yeah. Okay, here we go again with yeah you can see it. You can see Tak Takarin the oh and get scooped by the command guy is not gonna kill at all. Good stuff. He is going to get the the wall break though. Oh lord, and here we go, the air grab. And again with the oh lord, the pod buster man. Wake up pod buster, you have to hold it. And the quick dust he thought was gonna be enough to kill and unfortunately even gets his burst baited. This is so unfortunate. Good stuff by Takarin though. Very nice awareness to use the RC right there to uh to recover faster and punish his burst attempt. Just as I say this here we go, Nikojiru manages to land a Big slider head, a uh, big, a uh, big Garuda attack counter hit though. Can not counter hit. Oh lord! Oh, and the big 2H counter hit, and Atakani holding on his burst, man. One command grab is all Nikoji needs right now. Oh yeah, missed time slider head. Oh, you got the slider head. Here we go. What are you gonna do, Atakani? Very nice back dashes. You got the Enzengeki. Oh, nice back, Mega Fist, and gets the kill. Oh no, he didn't believe. He didn't believe. You should have believed in the uh, in the kill. Still okay. One more. Ah, nice air too. Nice jump. Oh lord. Oh no, no Mega Fist here. I think Nikoji is starting to get a little bit impatient. <gasps> and hits him with the Mega, the the Hammerfall. Very nicely done. And just like this, Nikoji on. On, on set point, actually. See how this pans out. There you go, the slider head a little bit too early. Couldn't quite hit him on his recovery frames. Ah, here we go with the... Oh. Yeah, Nikoji wanting to deal that, that knockdown. We're really wanting it. No, we can that being said, you can see Nikoji pushing Takarin ever so slightly in the corner. Ah, but unfortunately gets screwed by the command grab, and this is not gonna kill. What the? Oops. Ah, okay, okay. I see. He went for an empty low, and if it had hit, then he could have gotten the follow up with the uh, time stop and potential kill, I guess. Very nice air there. Yet again, but missed time. No! This time his SPD on wake up, and just like this, Takarin manages to put one on the board as well. Good stuff. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, this is the absolute last match of this set. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go, the jump in by Takarin. Gets chased. Oh, very nice backdash into the slider head to punish the... Uh, oh my lord, that 6 <laughs> that six views so far. But then again, it's okay. Here we go, he's gonna get a lot of damage, and yeah, Takani just holding on to the burst, man. And again with the SPD, man. Oh, again, here we go, potential um, set point right here. Again, trying to, yeah, hit Takarin on his way down. Okay, he's got the... Oh! Oh lord, and Takarin on point with the two uh, S, the two S entire, very nicely done. 
using the rainwater as a follow-up to punish the super the, the armor from Nikoji. But just as I say this, Nikoji, do oh no again, man, again, again with the burst bait, man. And just like this, we're going on to the last round of the absolute last match of this set. Let's see how this pans out. There we go with Takani finding the opening. Both opponent not wanting to let up, not wanting to lose. Here we go, slider head. Because you do manages to. Oh! Here we go, the mega fist. Finds the opening with the slider head. The, not the slider, the slider head. The, the hammer fall. And back to neutral, yeah, Takarin just trying to find the opening, just chipping away. Well, actually, no, his neutral buttons doesn't, uh, doesn't neutral, doesn't chip damage. Oh, and Takarin just catching, just grabbing his opponent on his way down, man, and pot at that. Ah, the run-up grab, man, has been the bane. Oh, Lord! Oh, look Look at this. This is the absolute final interaction right there. And no, Nikoshiu takes it with the counter hit. With the meat. Is there a bracket match? This is the second or the third? Oh, no, this is the third one, actually. It's going to be none other than Gilgabear versus Yoki. Let's see how this went out. Probably first time that they played against each other. I do believe that Gilgit absolutely bores the... Uh, the, the um, a Gold Lewis matchup, but we'll see. Very nice, very, very freaking nice um, uh, Behemoth entire right there from Kyoki. Already has a decent amount of damage on Anji already. <gasps> and the trade that enables him to even juggle afterwards. Good stuff from Kyoki. That was very nice character in knowledge right here. And here we go with this. Oh, the Fujin. Yeah, and Gilgamesh using the Fujin to try to punish, to get in as quickly as possible. Very nice. Jumping the counter hit right there from Shoki is going to get a lot of pressure in. Oh, a little bit too far to get the grab. This is unfortunate. Ah, and here we go, the juggle. Is it going to kill? No, it's not. Oof. Thank God. And here we go, the Fujin. And the quick 2P for the first Mad very nicely done by Shoki gets the lead. On to the second match. Here we go, the Fuji startup by Gilgamesh gets jumped on Shoki, unfortunately. Okay, very nice tick throw right there from Gilgamesh. Wanting to keep the pressure, very nicely done. Forces the burst upon Shoki. And here we go with the anti neutral. <laughs> Oh, look, he even got this side switch. That was crazy good. Good stuff from Shoki. Nice confirms, by the way. Oh, Lord, and the far behemoth. And another behemoth for the kill. Good stuff by Shoki. Okay, second round. Is Gilgamesh gonna find some sort of opening? Oh, Lord, and the far behemoth, man. And the damage. Look at this. And this is on Andre, too. Oh, Lord, if you got this, I would have been angry. <laughs> Oh, and the awareness from this man as well, man. Not to get hit by the grab and too high. Makes the burst whiff. And just like this, Yoki is two matches up. How is this going to? <laughs> and Gilgabear absolutely hating this matchup, I know. <laughs> okay, and here we go with... Oh, finally, okay. Finally get something going on. And unfortunately gets hit by the mine. The mines. Very nice use of the dance right there. Okay, here we go. Damage station. Try to go for the overhead. Gets the... Oh, Lord. The wall break. Oh, Lord. And that big jump in from Shoki. No entire still by Gilgamesh. Oh lord, very nice way RC unfortunately again with Shoki using a lot the bag that should get out of pressure and it's working man, it's working. And just like this we are on set point, what is Gilgabear gonna do? Very nice go right there, ah uh, gonna get continued pressure, catch his back dash but unfortunately doesn't commit to a quick Fujin to get 
Uh, knockdown, but still okay. Very nice tick. Pressure. He's gonna get the juggle. Oh, okay, he's get. Oh, no! Where is the Psy? Where's your Psy? <gasps> Psy is here. Okay, okay. Why not? Why not? As long as it works. Good stuff. Good stuff from Gilga. Okay, finally gets one round. Let's see if you can manage to get the other. Very nice co jump right there. Nice co. Forces Yoki to pop the burst. Oh no! And speaking of bursts, Yoki managed to oh bait the burst, but still is in the dire position between because oh. Okay, here we go. One chance for Gilgamesh. Okay, he's gonna get the wall break. It's not gonna kill. Oh, or is it? It is gonna kill. I lied. Finally, finally, Gilgamesh puts one on the board. Good stuff from Gilgabear. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Okay, here we go. The Shitsu. Oh, even confirms, man. And gets the follow up. Oh, Lord. Very nice use of the dance right there to get the grab into the wall pressure. All the corner pressure. And here we go with the behemoth corner pressure. The thing that is so scary, man. Oh, Lord. And that 2P for the anti-air. That was really nicely done. And on to potential set point right there from for Hyoki. Oh lord, I almost got the juggle. And here we go, the jump in from Hyoki. Even baits the YRC. Ah, that was big damage. Finally, Gilgamesh forced to pop the burst. <gasps> oh lord, and the grab for the kill. Hyoki takes it three. To yeah. Here we go. Argus versus Nuclear. Again, okay, here we go. And here we go. Yeah, sorry for the wait. And thanks for the follow, Mariner. Marine, and welcome to the Brojo. Here we go with the big, big, big SPD right there from Nico Zero. Oh, and the fake out from the Garuda into the. Again, man, the third time. Good stuff from Nico Zero, man. That dude, man. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, and on to the next uh, battle. Oh, the big, big, big 6P right there from RX. He's going to get the corner the, the corner pressure. Oh, here we go. The slide head trying to get a little bit of thing going on. Oh. Okay, and yeah, RX using that 6P to really maintain and keep Nico here in the corner. He's gonna get the uh, Nostrovia into wall break. Okay, here we go. Trying to resume the. Yep. And successfully resuming the zoning game. And just like this, RX manages to take it. Okay, on to the next round. Finally, RX forced to pop the burst. Oh, Lord, and that 2D counted. Very nicely done, my Nikozi. Gonna get the knockdown. Trying to, yeah, open his opponent up. Gets the Garuda. Oh, Lord, gets the backdash on the Garuda. Look at this. Yeah. That very nice awareness right there from Nikos U2. Uh, to hit some buttons right there. To prevent Arx from getting out of the corner. Ah, here we go, the Mega Fist, man. And no, you got baited. Well, you got hit. You get punished. Here we go, the Arbiter really trying to zone, man. And Nikos U struggling to get that absolute last hit, man. Holding on to his, his life, man, his dear life. Again, with the ah, the Mega Fist is trying to chip him out. Definitely trying to chip him out. And he gets the kill with the Mega Fist yet again. Good stuff first. Match goes to Nickel Zero. Okay, on to the next battle. Let's see how this pans out. 
Go with the Garuda Impact. Oh, the triple Garuda Impact actually tried to snap him with ASPD with the follow up. Oh, Lord, and no, a little bit too quick with the. Not quick enough, actually, with the uh, slider head. But still, good stuff. RX has Nikoji in the corner. Very nice grab. Oh, this goes right above the crow with the Pachumkin bat uh, <laughs> bastard. I was gonna say no, it's Buster. It's the oh, and again with the fake out. Well, the fake out actually the Roman cancel into the uh, Pod Buster. Very nicely done again by Nikoji. It's been working wonders against RX. Here we go with the slider head and very nice again with the SPD. Uh, RX life melting away. Ooh, Lord, and that close is countered. This did a lot of damage. Just one more hit. Yo, that oh, that two, six P was godlike from RX. Very nicely done that, but he gets scooped by the two D. Good stuff from Nikozidu on fire tonight, man. Definitely not, <laughs> definitely not uh, letting anybody going past him. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Here we go, the slider head again with Nokoji trying to uh, get that knockdown. And that was a sick combo. And here we go with RX. He's gonna get the Nasdrovia into a hard knockdown, into Stain. Wow, and he read the hammer fall and immediately reacted to it. Very nicely done. He takes it with a perfect, definitely not out of this yet. With the slider head. Ah, and the big jump in from Nicol Jiru, man. Even gets the follow up with the Garuda impact to push his opponent in the corner. Yep, again, again with the RC into the command grab. And this is going to kill, man. We go with the perfect, nevertheless. And just like this, we are on set point. How is our eggs going to handle this? Down two games. He needs to win every single one of his game. Up until oh, finally based the burst. That patience definitely paid off. He's gonna get a wall break and the hard knockdown. Goes with the safe jump. And the juggle for the win. Very nicely done. Takes it very convincingly. Finally, RX one match to two against two. Finally puts one on the board. Oh, here we go. RX definitely not out of this yet. He definitely managed to make some pretty crazy comeback previously in previous iteration of the Brojo Cup. So I'm definitely I wouldn't be surprised if he just ends up like bringing, bringing it back and just freaking winning the tournament. We shall see. No entire right there. Oh, get okay, very nice six spirit. Lord, and that six p counter hit from Nikozito that did a ton of damage. Here go the grab. Here go the slider head and using the teleport after to go through the slider head. Though it's pretty slick. And here we go, RX has the corner pressure. Oh, <gasps> Lord. Oh, and the wake up Hail Mary, but it's still okay. He had some, uh, some board to make it safe. And here we go, the meaty. And just like this, Nikoji do again on match point. RX definitely needs, no, oh, some sort of momentum shift right now. Slider head definitely doing a number on him. Oh, again with the slider head, man. Ooh, and catches the bag dash with the Roman cancel into the pod buster. That did, did a lot of damage. Ah, uh, here we go, the Garuda impact. Garuda impact, and this time around it hits his target. Oh, Lord. Oh, uh, what do you do? Oh, and again with the sliding Roman cancel. This is gonna kill! Lord! And Nikoji takes it a clean 3 2 Comes up. So, uh, first time they...
What? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Nikuji is using Takari? Is, is using uh, Axel? Okay, I had a brain fart right there. I was like, what the hell? What is Nikuji using? But anyways, here we go. It kind of makes sense because, I mean, uh, Axel is definitely an annoying uh, character to play against uh, Gold Lewis. Okay, here we go. We very nice air to air right Well, anti air right there from Nikoji. Yeah, Nikoji using and rocking and that, so I never thought it was possible actually. And here we go with a very nice combos right there from uh, Shoki. And here we go with Nikoji. Okay, really trying to pin his opponent, keep him in the corner. Good stuff. Okay, gonna try to chip him out. Oh, look! It, that was crazy, man! Oh, Lord, and the grab for the kill. Good stuff by Nikojiro. That was crazy, man. That that run up, run up, uh, FD, uh, FD crouch, run up, FD crouch, run up, FD crouch was crazy good. So, here we go with the uh, command grab. Oh, Lord, and that back dash was crazy. Again, with the back dash on the command grab, the triple back dash, the triple, the, the double, I'm sorry. Command grab attempt by Nikojiro, and here we go, finally Nikojiro finds the opening with the grab and pushes, it puts Hyoki in the corner, tried to bait the, the burst, and unfortunately for Hyoki, uh, well, he manages to do so on his second attempt. Good stuff from Nikojiro. Takes the first match. Let's see if this uh, is going to be the case with the second one as well. Good stuff from Nikozido. Oh, and that jump in low. Here we go. Shoki bringing the heat. Ah, and that run up grab from Nikozido. Very nicely done. Oh, Lord. Ah, Nikozido on point on the end tires, man. It's been working so good for him. Ah, and again with the 2S, man. The 2HS. The 2S, I'm sorry. And just like this, Nikoji takes the first round with the second match as well. Here we go with Hoki, uh, trying to initiate something, but Nikoji really on point on the entire man. <laughs> Lord, and Nikoji just taking his time, man. Ah. Uh. Yeah, trying to really keep and successfully keep Gold Lewis out. Good grab. Ah, Shuki on his last legs. With Nikoji on point, almost trying to... Yeah, almost successfully getting that... Ah, that command grab. Lord, and the harassment, man. With the standing fee, very nicely done. Definitely, definitely strong performance right there from Nikoji to... Oh, here we go, the far S into the, uh, what's it called, the behemoth. Try to grab uh, Nikoji out before he gets hit by the mine, but unfortunately, the mine was quicker. Here we go with the throw loops from Nikoji again with the throw, empty, jump into the grab. And, okay, no super. Rather keep some bar to initiate something. Again, man, really trying to get that command grab, and it's fun with Shoki just denying it to him, you know? Okay, here we go with the snail. Oh, Lord, and that. Oh, finally, Shoki getting something going. Let's see if uh, this trend can continue. Oh, okay, here we go with the... Oh, Lord. Again, but no, you're not going to command grab me. I refuse. Shoki, very on point. I'm not getting hit by the command grab, not gonna lie. And finally, Shoki finding a uh, timing to use his minigun. Oof. Ah, oh, Lord. And that wake up Hail Mary, and just like this, Nikojiro is gonna take it. Very nicely done. A. Uh, actually, not gonna take it, I'm sorry. Yeah, since Shoki took the first round. Actually. So, uh, Nikojiro on set point. Let's see if Shoki can manage to bring it back. Yeah, Shoki just being harassed by these cycles. I mean, he cannot 
cannot like he can't press a button oh a little bit too high on that uh, aerial cancel we go the grab Shoki in the corner Shoki is gonna oh is that gonna hit so yeah it is okay this should do very nicely done by Nikojiru takes it a clean Oh, that perfect Aaron versus Kohide. As I have mentioned earlier, Aaron, a very, very strong Happy Gals player. He's been killing most of the killers that participate to today's tournament. So Kohide is next on the list. Let's see if Kohide is going to be able to survive that onslaught of zoning. We shall see. There we go with the scapegoat just preventing Kohide from uh, dashing forward. Oh, very nice air to air and that confirm that juggle from Kohide. Very nicely done. Okay, Kohide really trying to... Uh, wait for the scapegoat to F off before trying to make his way towards Aaron. He finally finds the opening. Making good use of Giovanna's speed to try to mix Aaron as quickly as possible. And here we go with the Hail Mary. Unfortunately, didn't get the wall break. It would have definitely killed. But unfortunately for and fortunately for Aaron, <laughs> Kohide uh, couldn't quite get that wall break. And just like this, we are back to zoning mode. And thank you very much for the follow 08 Koji25. And welcome to the bro here we go with the wall break again with the air shakes this time around it's not gonna kill by any means but he is going to deal a hard knockdown perfect time to go on kohide and this is gonna kill very nice juggle right there from aaron takes the first round of this uh, first uh, match let's see how this pans out good juggle right there from kohide he's gonna nope no wall splat still okay he's got the corner position lord the in and out man from Kohide immediately finds that uh, Aaron goes and tries to go over him to get out of the corner immediately just runs up towards him and punish him uh, accordingly oh here we go with the slaps <laughs> the chaos slaps you are not going to stay on me I can guarantee you and here we go with Aaron and these just blocks from Kohide have been crazy and again with the wake up Hail Mary uh, overdrive from Kohide this time around it does uh, deal the kill and Kohide gets the first uh, the second uh the second round actually can you go very nice patient right there from aaron delays a little bit his uh his uh, his uh, his uh, shoot uh, his fire uh, whatever you call it just to catch the back dash of kohide okay here we go yeah kohide oh lord and that aerial overdrive immediate aerial overdrive gonna get the wall break or not actually well he's gonna get it by extension though look, look at the damage my lord. good lord 90% of his life is out of the window, man. That was crazy, man. Okay, here we go with the instant overhead by Aaron. Definitely not out of this yet, unfortunately, with this miss. <laughs> I'm sorry, the miss time. Uh, Midi from Koide manages to get out of pressure. Oh, no! And the Nasante for the kill. Very nicely done by Koide. Manages to take the first uh, match by the skin of his teeth. Let's see if he can continue uh, and keep the momentum to try to send Aaron in the loser's bracket we shall see here we go very nice whip on it right there from Aaron and Kohide wakes up with the gold burst and manages to hit it he's gonna get the wall break this time around very nice damage oh here we go with the take pressure right there finds the opening with the uh oh lord and my lord Aaron just <laughs> just running from one corner to the other Unfortunately, gets hit by the aerial overdrive. And I have the hiccups. Okay, and here we go. Start of the round by Aaron, trying to bring Koide in the corner. Ends up uh, cross undering him. him. He's gonna get deep. Wall break with the air shakes. Good damage. Nice hard knockdown. And here we go with the entire red there from Aaron. He's going to get the juggle and into the air six again. And this is going to kill. Good stuff. Aaron bringing it back ever so slightly. And here we go with the forward. Well, the forward dash into the uh, standing K. Who he did with the wall break using the cannon drill. Very nice lows from Aaron. Finds the opening. And again with Kohide blocking high this time around and unfortunately gets hit and open. The delay uh, as much as possible, the... Oh, this is going to do a lot of damage as well. Oh, this is going to kill actually. Oh my lord, look at the damage. And again with Kohide, man. 
up two to zero. It's the first time I see Eren struggling that much, actually. So let's see how this turns out. Okay, good jump in by Kohide. Oh lord, he gets he's gonna get the wall break. Very nice confirms. <gasps> And my lord, them tick freaking! I I, I think we can characterize this as a shimmy, I guess. Just staying right in front of him, not breaking the wall, and just grabbing him out of nowhere. Very nicely done by Kohide. On the verge of uh, winning this set, actually. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with Aaron, not afraid to just run up straight, and that confirmed from Kohide. On the verge of taking it. And the flip kick for the kill. Good stuff, Kohida taking it. Uh, my freaking... Uh, my freaking... Yeah, my freaking... My freaking hiccups is killing me. Oh, guess sorry for the wait. I'm back, I'm back. So, uh, oh, okay, big Garuda impact to push Aaron in the corner. And again, with the Garuda impact pressure and the SPD almost for the kill. It's not gonna be enough though, but again, oh my lord, and again with the Roman cancel into the uh, Kara um, pod buster for the kill by Nikos. You're very nicely done, but Aaron definitely not out of it yet. Oh lord! Okay, here we go with Aaron pushing Nikozu in the corner, but Nikozu using the uh, slider head to deal a knockdown. Look at the damage! Very nice use of the burst right there. He probably would have died if he didn't. Oh lord! And the grab attempt again by Nikozu, man, with the quick dust for the kill. And the first round goes to Nikozu. Very nicely done. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the slider head. Oh, and here we go with the tick. Really, the pressure trying to push Nikoji in the corner. Woo! Punishes the uh, whiff. Uh, the whiff punish attempt of uh, Nikoji, by the way. Okay, here we go. Uses also the slowdown, the, uh, the, the screen freeze of the uh, concentration to uh, not get hit by the slider head, also. Very, very intelligent play right there from Aaron. Okay, got the curse. Probably waiting for, yeah. Waiting for a slider head right there. Doesn't want to commit too much. And gets the instant overhead for the opening. Here we go with the hammerfall again. Hits him out of the air. And the summer iron gets hit by a meaty. Well, a frame trap, rather, I'd say. Oh, very nice back dash right there from Aaron. Oh, no, 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 you cannot. And here we go, just like this. Aaron takes a bit. First, the first round of the second match. Go with the air to air. And Aaron, yeah, pushing. Oh, Lord, using the cross under again. To this time around, push. Nikos, you in the corner. Oh, Lord, gets hit by the. Okay, finally, the flick for the frame trap. Very nicely done. Lord, yeah, you can see Nikos, you definitely wanting to have this one. Oh, no, almost got jumped on. Unfortunately, use the forward uh, Mega Fist, which is very, very minus some block and can be punished. And here we go with the Air 6 <laughs> for the Wall Break and the positive bonus and the Okizeme and everything. Okay, very nice back dashes right there from our own. Probably reading the Mega Fist from Nikozito. Okay, look at the damage. It's not gonna kill, but it's so close. Oh, he tried. Why? No, no. Oh, no. I think he saw the burst bar, but he thought it was actually Aaron's and not his. This is so unfortunate. This is so unfortunate. Nikos, you definitely saw like a blue icon like on in the, in the player bars. And he thought, I think, that that was Aaron. And that's why he tried to bait it. And unfortunately, it was his own. 
<laughs> this is unfortunate. Very nice slider head though. Okay, and here we go with the wakes up man from Aaron taking his turn back. Okay, and here we go with the slider head again. Catches Aaron's back dash, and you are oh back again with the slider head. We're, working, we're definitely working a lot. I ah, tried to grab him a little bit too late. Ah, damn it! And you are cursed. Okay, back to the zoning game. Cursed a second time. Okay, and here we go with again, Aaron, man. Woo! And the Mega Fist catching the back dash. Oh, that was probably uh, an attempt to... That was definitely an attempt to... Uh... Oh, no, and the burst got baited. Here we go with Aaron, definitely, like, eager to try to take it, man. Woo! And he's got the wall. He's gonna get the wall spot. Ah, drops the combo, unfortunately, for him, but he's gonna get the wall break right there in the kill. Okay, Aaron taking the lead with one round ahead. Okay, we go to very nice 6 speed right there. He's gonna get the juggle. Ah, and the wall break. Good stuff from Aaron. Okay, again with Aaron, man, and the jump ins look very, working so much in his favor. Gonna get the air six <laughs> into the wall break. Oh, Lord, and that bag that from the Glizzard unfortunately gets scooped by Aaron, probably using an option select, I suppose, to catch any types of bag dashes. And here we go, yeah. Oh, Lord, very nice Mega Fist right there. This is, you have one chance. Oh, and that grab, man. It's not over. No! Oh, Lord, it's not over, though, but... Oh, no, seriously, the Mega Fist... Is... Oh! No, too far. No! This is over. This is over. This is over. What? Ah, uh, trying to get rid of the tension. Yeah, trying to get rid of the tension, and unfortunately, the Mega Fist gets scooped. And Aaron manages to take the lead, 2-1. to one. Not over till it's over. Nikos, you sticking to his gun, sticking to, uh, to pot. Let's see how this pans out. Very nice bag dash right there from Aaron, and punishes immediately. The, uh, slider head attempt. Okay, very nice slider head this time around. Catches the bag dash of Aaron. Okay, and back to the zoning game. Oh, Aaron going for the quick dust and forces Nikoji to actually pop the burst. Here we go with the cross under. Oh, Lord. Oh, again with the Mega Fist. This Mega Fist is so useful to go over the scapegoat. Very nice air grab. That was... Um, that was... I wasn't... I wasn't expecting it at all. Okay, and here we go with the slider head. No! Almost caught him. Okay, and again, you can see Aaron timing his bag dashes with the slider head and immediately punishes the recover of the slider head with, uh, with shots, basically. Again, yeah, a little bit too late to get the shots, though. Probably thought he was going to get scooped by the slider head. And just like this, Aaron on set point. Let's see if Nikoji manages to bring it back or not. We shall see. Oh, here we go with the jump in. And the jump in again. And Nikos, you're holding on to his burst. Oh, no. And he drops it. Yeah, and too few recovery frames on his uh, air shakes to punish it. You can see Nikos, you're yeah, really struggling to get in, man. It's definitely not an easy matchup again with the back dash for the punish, man. Yeah, Nikos, you're definitely, like, definitely struggling, man. And back to the corner is for you. This seems so hard, man. Yeah, there's not much you can do. This is the, the last, yeah. The last the last stand, if I might say it. Man, what are you supposed to do in this matchup? Like, seriously. It's crazy and very nice. Quick overhead for the win by Aaron. Takes it a clean and finale. Kohide in the winner's bracket, whereas... But uh, on the winner's side, whereas Aaron is on the loser's side, Aaron needs to win two sets in a row if he wants to, uh, to well, to, to win, basically. Whereas Kohide only needs one, and here we go, start of the round immediately. Kohide sent in the corner, but very nice timing of his. Wow, that Nasante was good. Good stuff from Kohide. He's going to get the wall break. Keeps his tension bar, probably to use it later on. 
we shall see. Oh, there we go, the 2k by Aaron, man, trying to push his opponent, oh lord! Okay, 6p whiffs, unfortunately, for Aaron, but very fortunately for Kohide, very nice, quick. That's right there from Kohide, gets the kill. First round goes to uh, Kohide. Okay, there we go with Aaron, his fort, fort HS catches. Uh, Kohide out of the air, fortunately for him he was guarding, but still he gets sent in the corner with the air shakes. There we go, uh, hard knockdown. Okay, oh my lord, that chop, man, this is so treacherous. Okay, here we go, yeah, the pressure is real, you have to hold it. And just like this, Aaron enters into form with a perfect... Oh, Kohide, very nice chase right there from Kohide. I feel like it would have been very hard for him to try to bring it back if... If Aaron managed to, like, get out. Okay, here we go, though. Aaron taking the momentum back. And Kohide, wow! Oh, that was crazy, man! If you do the 6S... If you do the 6P preemptively, you can actually punish the aerial overdrive of Kohide. It's actually very hard to time and very dangerous, too. If you mistime it, you get hit. And just like this... Aaron actually takes the first round, man. Are we going to see a reset tonight? That would be crazy. Okay, first match goes to Aaron. Definitely not over till it's over, though, but we shall see. Very nice with punish right there from Aaron. From a uh, Kohida, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, here we go with the scapegoat, preventing Kohida from uh, jumping on Aaron, but still. Kohida gets a pretty nice grab. And oh, Lord, and the gold burst and the Nasante. Man, that was crazy. Is this gonna kill? It might kill, actually. It's not. Yeah, that was close, though. Good stuff from Kohide. What is the Oki Zeme? The good old kickflip in Roman Cancel. Breaks the extension and the kill. Good stuff. Here we go with Oki. Oh, no, and the air to air in favor of Eren. He's gonna get the curse or not. No curse for you. Okay, here we go. Very nice dash into the standing S counter hit, man. And Kohide definitely wanting to have it. Almost got the juggle with the Nasate, but still okay. Gets the grab and the low for the kill. Confirm into overdrive and boom. Bye bye, sir. And the second uh, match goes to Kohide. Puts one on the board. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the third match. Very nice punish right there. Why? Well, it wasn't a punish, okay. but a uh, very nice 2k to 2d by Aaron. Pushes Kohide in the corner, catches his backdash. Kohide loves to backdash. <laughs> yeah, here we go with the air shakes. Hard knockdown. What is the Oki? The hops? Yes, it is. Okay, this time he goes for the low. Oh, almost hit him with it with the 2s. And here we go with the, uh, the, the throw for the kill with a perfect, by the way. Good stuff from Aaron. Okay, no one's home for the 6 bit. Oh, my lord. And here we go again with... Oh, that pressure, man. You have to hold it. A very nice jump in from Kohide. Ah, you can see the dash, man. Okay, catches the bag dash with the cannon drill. This is going to do a lot of damage. It's not going to kill... No, it's not. Good stuff. Here we go, jump in, nope. Okay, good old dash forward into a low for the kill. And here we go with uh, Kohide putting one round on the board as well. Ah, Lloyd the bam, 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 keeping you in the corner. There we go, good stuff, good pressure again with Aaron. Getting the wall break. Nice chase down by Kohide. Looking good. Okay, trying to... Ooh, no, gets hit. His back is getting hit by the 2S. And... Ah, uh, Lord. Okay, Aaron trying to go for the resets, unfortunately, catches. <gasps> yeah, this is death. Death by Shnoo Shnoo. Bye bye. Damn it. Good stuff from Aaron. Actually manages to take the third match as well. Well, he did. Mm, looking pretty... Not lost, but yeah, not very comfortable in this matchup. But then again, who is when fighting a happy chaos? Very nice air to air by Aaron. Hits Kohide out of the air. Here we go. With the grab by Aaron again. Nice stuff by Kohide. 
Here we go with the close S counter hit. Immediate burst from Aaron. <laughs> Doesn't want to deal with anything of this. Nope, I'm perfectly fine just... Oh lord, you can see the, oh, the maneuvers from Kohide, man. Oh no! Ah, uh, this is unfortunate. Oh, okay, very nice swift punish right there from Kohide. Is he gonna get the struggle? He is! Yeah, this is gonna kill good stuff from Kohide, finally. He okay, puts one round, needs another one to at least... Ah, uh, no! Forward dash gets hit. Ah, nice stuff. Ah, uh, with the cross under, very, very tricky. Here we go, Aaron on full offense mode. Definitely wants this round, definitely wants to be on set point. Well, actually, um, to reset the bracket. Here we go, very nice. Deus Ex, here we go with the triple hop, and he's gonna get the kill. Unless... Ah, uh, no, that grab, no, that back dash into the grab. <gasps> oh, close edge, it's gonna... Burn. Oh no, and the jump in, and here we go with the low cave for the kill. Okay, set point, well, reset point, actually. Let me update real quick. Because we might see a reset, actually. And here we go with the quick burst from Aaron. Gets caught by Kuita, though. <gasps> oh, that back, this was godlike. Godlike. Good stuff. Here we go, the cross under yet again. Pushing Kuita in the corner with the deuce X and gonna get the wall break. Good stuff. Here we go with the hops again. Oh, a mistime grab. This is very uncharacteristic of Aaron, by the way. It's still okay. Kuita making good use of it. Gonna get the wall break. And the scapegoat. Oh, Lord. Scapegoat again. Oh, Lord. Ah, yeah. Kuita trying to stay mobile, not get cursed. Unfortunately, he did. Ah, no. And the grab. And just like this. No. Lord, that overdrive was so cheeky. And just like this, Kuita actually manages to steal it back, man. And put one on the board. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. This is the potential final set of tonight because Kohida only needs one set to win really depends on Aaron and his performance okay here we go with the air to air almost got the the air punish very nice with punish right there from Kohida gets the juggle doesn't use the overdrive to get the um, horn knockdown still it's okay okay and here we go with the wake up overdrive unfortunately I think yeah Aaron didn't take the bait and what the hell was that Okay, that was a strange, uh, but it's still, but I, okay, I have never seen it before. Okay, and here we go with Aaron back on full onslaught mode and gets scooped by the aerial overdrive of Kohide. And Kohide, just like this, is on tournament points. How is Aaron going to, is Aaron going to be able to uh, contain the storm? Is he going to be able to bring it back? We shall see. Now here we go to cross under the side switch. Here we go with the curse. Kuita forced to burst. Ah, oh, Lord, and that in and out is definitely playing a number on Aaron. Has some problems adjusting to, yeah, the, the quickness, the speed of Giovanna. And again with the blocks, I believe. Okay, this time around, Aaron going for a regular combo. No dust whatsoever. And, oh no! I didn't have any bullets left. Too bad. Too bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm clearly in favor of Kohide. No, but anyways, here we go with the aerial overdrive, man. Again, it's been doing numbers on freaking Aaron, man. Here we go with the... Oh, Lord. What is going to happen? Oh, Lord. And the flip kick. And unfortunately... Uh, oh, no. He got hit. And just like this, we are on tournament point and on reset point as well. Oh, Lord. Okay, here we go. Just a quick dust. Why not? Why not? Why not? As long as it works. Very nice juggle from uh, Kuita, by the way. Gonna get the wall break. Tell this spins out. Oh, Lord. We go the chase from Aaron, man. Aaron Chase. And the Air 6 for the wall break. He's gonna get a positive bonus. But still, Kuita has a lot of resources. And all, almost got scooped. I would have been so scared that Kuita wakes up with, with this, actually. But yeah, very nice blocks again from Kohide, from, from Aaron. Ah, yeah, this is gonna be pretty hard. 
Ah, the damn. I think I feel like that was a bit of a burst, like a bit of a burst uh, emergency. Ah, and this this is gonna do. And just like this, the bracket has been reset. Aaron takes it three, two, two. Good stuff. Bracket reset has been made, and we're moving on to the grand finale. Good stuff from both players. And being said, greatest stuff from Aaron. Uh, what was this? Not, this is not what I want. Where are you? Here we go. And just like this, Kohide is sent to the losers and needs to, uh, well, win this match, basically, if he wants to win the tournament. Well, win the, win the set. Again, here we go. The bracket has been reset. This is the absolute last set we will see tonight. Here we go, quick burst right there from Kohide. Really trying to keep uh, Aaron in one place, but Aaron being so slippery, man. We go with the wall break. Cancels into the air six. Gonna get a heavy knockdown. Here we go, the hops. Yep, good stuff. From Aaron, he's gonna get the kill. Good stuff, good stuff. Here we go, the wall break for the kill. On to the second. Second round, a very nice counter right there for Kohi. They're trying to keep Aaron in the corner, but Aaron, man, he, he jumps everywhere and it works. It works. And here you go. He puts, yeah, Kohi. Oh, no, one. Yeah, he needs one more hit to uh, wall spot, and this is unfortunate. But still okay. Ah, nice 2D. And here we go with the quick dust, trying to bait that burst. Roman cancels accordingly. But uh, thankfully, Kohi did delay. Ah, and this is going to. Yeah, it's gonna kill. This stuff from Koi did nice awareness to uh, actually resort to using the aerial overdrive, not the grounded one, because chances are that it would have whiffed since Aaron was a little bit high in the air. So nice awareness. Oh, I don't even know if he had the time to go back down on Earth and then hit him with the overdrive. So uh, just didn't take any risks and just do the aerial overdrive. Good stuff from him. Nice awareness. Here we go. Almost got the whiff punish, and he got the two D. Oh, counter! This is good. This is very good for Koi did. Gonna get the overdrive death? Not death. This was pretty close though. Okay, and on to oh potential D death by Shnu Shnu. Oh very nice Nasante. The cojones on that Kohide, man. Good stuff from him. Okay, he puts one on the board. Aaron down one. And let's see how this pans out. Here we go the counter. Ah, an immediate burst from Kohide, man. Kohide definitely not. Liking that happy chaos pressure. Okay, and here we go with. Oh, very nice grab right there from Kohide. Probably missed time the midi right there from Aaron. Or missed time grab from Aaron, probably. Here we go, overdrive for again the hard knockdown. Okay, almost got the kill. No, you hate to see it happen. Is this is. This might kill, actually. Ah, uh, you absolutely hate to see it happen. Yeah, it's gonna kill. Lord, ah, uh, the dropped combo, and Kohide had it, actually. This is unfortunate. Okay, and here we go with the air to air in favor of Kohide. Very nicely done. Forces Aaron to burst. Okay, very nice side switch attempt, at least. Fake cross. -up. And here we go with the overdrive yet again. Kaboom. Nice, decent damage. Okay, here we go. Very nice challenge right there for Koide. And Aaron did have the knockdown. Okay, Koide goes for the quick dust for the opening. And Rowan cancel follow up for the kill. Good standing S for the extension. And Aaron just content to just stay there and block. Unfortunately, he is now trying to either back dash or press buttons. Did get punished quite a while. Here we go with Koi again with the Roman cancel. Is this gonna kill? Almost got it, but damn, that was a that was a nice burst. <laughs> Sarcasm, but yeah, good stuff by Koi A little bit lucky right here, not to get hit by uh, not to get hit by the the um, the, the burst. Winter pa package phrase. Yeah, me too, man. I really hope so. Very nice. Uh, yellow Roman cancel. Wake. 
Uh, I don't think so. He could have burst uh, right on the Sepultura and not get uh, not get uh, whiffed. So yeah, he could he could have. There are several places where he could have. He couldn't burst on the first dust, harsh dust of them. This would have whiffed, and right after the follow up of the the dust either. But on the third hit that uh, Kohide did, I think it was the the Sepultura. There he could have bursted. Nice walk under block, yeah, indeed. And here we go, Kohide on tournament point. Kohide can smell it. Well, I'm saying this, but Kohide is getting juggled right now. Oh lord, that 6p six, <laughs> six was really good, see. But yeah, here we go with Kohide finding the opening with the tech. Oh, the tech. Freaking pressure. Very nice block by Aaron from the, 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 the quick dust. That's pretty good. And here, you want to see some quick dust? I'll quick dust you as well, ma'am. We go with the very nice, very nice shimmy attempt right there from Aaron, spamming the 2P, trying to catch the backdashes from Kohide. Because we all know that Kohide loves that backdash button. Okay, and here we go, finally Aaron, finally Aaron looking pretty good right there. Still down one round, he definitely needs this one if he wants to stay alive. Let's see, oh, very nice jump in by Kohide, this is gonna, no, too far for the simple 2 round, this is unfortunate. And the 6P for the, the 6 hs for the uh the the chase very nice 2s right there counter hit and aaron looking pretty good gonna get the uh dear six into the hard knockdown ah uh, kohide yeah has to hold it but he's going to get open still okay kohide still has two attempts to try to seal the deal so it's definitely not over till it's over ça n'est pas fini tant que ça n'est pas fini Let's go! Very nice whiff punish right there from Kohide. A nice awareness of Aaron to Yeah, hold on to his burst until a burstable hit. Okay, here we go with Aaron. Almost got the wall positioning. Ah, and he's... Oh, very nice burst bait. And Lord, Kohide not afraid to just freaking... <laughs> just not afraid to freaking uh, dash forward, man. Very nice uh, tick throw right there. And the quick dust for the kill. Just like this, Aaron on the verge of actually putting two as well. Is this going to go down to the wire? Lord, please don't let it be. Okay, here we go with Aaron. Ah, trying to shimmy right there. Okay, here we go, Koide entering in due form. Gets the super ultra counter hit and the juggle. Okay, here we go, close as Ah, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Not gonna kill though. Obviously. Okay, here we go with the cannon drill. And again with the quick dust for the kill this time around. Okay, here we go. Tournament points number two. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, Lord, and the dash counter hit. Okay, Aaron forced to burst. And the scapegoat, you love to see it. Ah, Lord, that's unfortunate. But it's okay. No, it's not okay. Ah, man. Kohide waking up swinging, man. Ah, oh, Lord, he got hurt again. Ah, is that a do sex? No, it's not. But yeah, Aaron just freaking... Oh, Lord! Here we go with the aerial counter. The, the aerial was called Overdrive. Okay, Kohide well, has a nice okay right there. No, got hit by the 2P. And this is gonna not kill. And the scapegoat, man. For... Oh, what? That was crazy. <gasps> and just like this, Kohide steals it at the end. A very, very nice three.